Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Lax and I'm back again to do another review. Um, this is actually a part 2 because I was doing a review on the N-Gage. Uh, this Nokia N-Gage, I'm telling you it was not worth it. This like... The control scheme is going to be 7 and 5 for A and B basically. Um, I have a little habit that you're so used to pressing over here as a start button but in order for you to move this around you have to navigate your controls like this from the this and to this bottom part to this is how you do it You're basically using this hand so if I'm gonna go to my uh, menu I go right here and if I go to my uh, media I don't press this button or these buttons it won't work it won't work I have to go click option then click open just to pass through and then now I am gonna continue on moving this in continue so the start button is in the bottom left right here and I continue on playing Rayman and like I've explained it to people like this is one of the lousiest design they've ever made and since the damage has already been caused from their first design that no one would take this console seriously ah, excuse me I like to drink a lot of soda uh, just to tell you about this console is that like I said on the first part of the review you do have to take the battery out to make this work and this only company that works with this was actually uh, sim card companies like in the USA it, it's only meant for singular for its first initial release it was promoted only in GameStop and Electronic Boutique but not promoted as a cell phone and I wish they had to put the cartridge slot on the side but no um, I mean before Android they had this you know and this is the only thing we can go through for mobile gaming when I say mobile gaming, cell phone and everything all in one. And I talk about how this cell phone works. You know, if I'm, you see, here's the head, the, the speaker. So I have to talk like this. So if I really want to show off, I have to have it on my left ear so people see me holding a taco. Yeah, that's what they call it, taco. I mean, why would you want to design a console uh, from a brick and mold? you know to make it look like a, a piece of a Mexican dish which I do enjoy eating Mexican and the food too <laughs> now I, I, I love Mexican girls they're very very cool now this is uh, the LG neon which later on expanded to a better LG I mean I love this LG there's no sim card right now it's still fully functional if you're they still have a website where you can get apps for it for making it look like a Windows and continuing on where I left off it oh, what am I watching Oh, I'm eating um, videos about, I mean, watching videos about um, people eating dogs. Mm. I mean, this is the website. It's for the LG GT365. If it's loading it, come on, load, baby, load. Uh, yeah, and they have all these games like Need for Speed and all this. And this is actually the original concept of this phone before they made it more an excellent design. Because look at this, it became a keyboard-based looking all black before originally it was more neon -ish. I like the design it's perfect on my hand uh, sliding it like this and it's perfect and comparing this phone this phone is older I'm using currently a Sa Galaxy Appeal uh, Samsung Galaxy I don't really like the design I really love uh, quirky keyboard based um, cell phones but this is what I'm currently using right now because I do need an Android and I have an AT&T service uh, this is one of my um, uh, problems about this phone yeah it's another Windows looking thing the problem is is that it's too thin and it's really hard to type so if you're a very like me I'm not I'm not really a big guy so I feel sorry for bigger guys that have problems typing it because the button pressing is really bad so this was not a well designed quirky keyboard I mean the sidekick of course is, a, is different but looking at that this <clears throat> now this is a successor. This is the L, another LG phone compared to the LG Neon. Oh wow, this is the old one and this is the new one. LG has a very, very sharp screen and this one's a Verizon and I don't like Verizon. I got this phone, I kid you not, for free in the flea market when the guy said I don't have a battery for it. He was just trying to get rid of his junk. And this is, the screen is so clear. Uh, I actually had to put a screen protector to make it more, to preserve the life of this look. And the design and the feel and the comfort of this cell phone is so perfect. And I found out this phone is valued only $50 US. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a touch screen and it, it, it's very 
it's not as buttery as I would be when I say buttery like the slide it's kind of a little slip not like an iPhone but the camera oh my god the camera is nice 720p resolution for its price of $50 US I mean if it's original original release it would have been more expensive or yes but wow and this one too of course um, comparing this LG I mean it's really they're sharp I love LG um I mean you can see all even my monitors uh, my multi monitors are all LG's you know right there you know because I use LG monitors and look at this this is one of my favorite I use this as a game console comparing the Nokia the only OS they moved on to was never been Android they moved on with Windows so comparing this this is the best way to play games I mean wow I am going to play some, here's an example. I have emulators installed in here and plus uh, it, the, and the Android about it is that it only has a 2.2 operating system and it's not bad at all. 2.2 was the very first operating system for the Galaxy Tab and let's check this out. Uh. I'm playing the Sega Genesis emulator Sega. and it runs fluently fast all my retro gaming look at this I even can play Sega CD on this And it's very, very buttery. Okay, hold my horses. I'm going to show you another emulator. Super Nintendo with the Super GNES emulator. Runs very, very fast. Okay. Um, I haven't downloaded the artworks. I mean, this emulator is amazing in that it will actually download the artwork of the games. Um, you know, like the front cover, even some screenshots. And I love games that show stuff like that. And, well, I think I passed it. I'm going to show Super Mario Brothers. All Stars! Now, let's go take a look at this. I have the buns already pre-configured. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The game is running very, very smooth. So, you can see how smooth this game runs. Oh, God, I died. Okay, let me go back, back, atrás más. I even have Nintendo. I gotta show examples. I mean, I only got two minutes left. I like making reviews. This is my part two, so bury me. And the only thing about the reason why this phone was very, very cheap was that the reason why it was cheap is because the processor is very slow. It does have 3D acceleration. It has a Google Play Store. So I'm going back now. You saw that works. And then. The only thing is the processor is very, I even have gear, uh, Sega Master emulator in this bad boy. Uh, let's see if it'll load. Okay. Um, I can use the keyboard to scroll down. And then if I want to play some Sonic, well, let me play some Shaq food. Oh, I think I passed S-H-A-A, Shaq, 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 Shaq. No, I don't think Shaq food's in here. But, as you can see, all these games are loaded in here. Sonic the Hedgehog. And it runs fluent. But the thing is, when I'm playing certain games, like 3D games, it won't work. This is the best way. Comparing this one to the open Pandora console, this is a portable computer. This is a portable computer. Well-designed, ergonomic way. I may look like a Windows, and yes. It's a very, 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 very good unit. It's one of my favorite low budget units, but comparing all these things, I love my old school LG. I love the processor in this, but it runs very, very, you know, it's very hard to type on the keyboard.
But thank you guys for watching. This is Chino.